Hey everybody, Master Dragal here. Last time on Legend Dragoon, we found out where Lloyd is going next and we beat up the water dragon and... See, I already forgot that chick's name. See, she's so unimportant that you only see her for like two hours into the game. It's rather boring. Yeah. But okay. Oddly enough, the enemy that I was looking for is the first enemy that I found. So, here we go. This is the treasure jar. Now, you cannot attack the treasure jar. You can only, uh, hit it with magic attacks. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't really have any magic attacks, so... We had to transform into a Dragoon to hit it. Of course, the good news is that this enemy, of course... Since we're hitting it with magic, it can't dodge it. At least as far as I know. Now just watch, it's going to prove me wrong somehow. It's going to dodge my magic attack. Okay. Or it can just run away. Well, that's okay because, uh... I was leveling up additions and stuff while I was on my way back to Freno, since, well, we got a cutscene there, kind of, sort of. And so, I got to fight and kill one of those guys and get its item, which is the Ruby Ring. And I found out how much it sold for, and that is a pathetic 500 gil. Yeah, not worth it. Because if you want to keep on killing it, you're going to have to either rest at the inn, or you're going to have to go and buy magic items. Attacks. And yeah, just, it's a pain in the ass, and I would not recommend fighting that thing. To grind for money by selling that ring, because it gives you nothing else. It doesn't give you any gold. It doesn't give you any experience. You're just stuck selling that ring. Now, if you want to keep one, then I suppose you can do that too. Um, not particularly. We didn't get the moon dagger. Please don't hit me. Oh, he just walked away. Yay! Time to kill the tension. I like the ocean. Um, for someone that's been in the game, if we don't stop the problem that's currently going to happen, there won't be an ocean, or you, or this boat, or anything else in this, uh, world in order for us to enjoy the ocean. I'm only guessing on that destroying the ocean part. A man of the sea, not bad. Hmm. When I went through this cutscene on screen, I said I can't, but why not? Lol. See? Uh, 
Oh, hey, and he gives me money for it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't give you anything if you just say, sorry, I can't, because we had stuff to do. But if you actually tell him, consider becoming a man on the of the sea, he will, uh, he will give you money. Wow. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the boat will not, uh, it will not go anywhere anymore. You actually have to drive it around yourself, I believe. And in case if you forgot any stardust, uh, you can just push the square button and it will bring you back to the bridge of the ship. And so you can go around and talk to people, get the stardust, probably do that uh, mini game with uh, cutting the fish and stuff. And when you want to come back to the world map, just talk to Pure. But continuing on. And we have more of that thing. Oh, and yes, uh, Maru is in my party. Go figure. I mean, she just became a dragoon. Why wouldn't she be? So that's her double smack. I mean, not really anything else has changed. I'm still stuck doing the same addition for darts and failing at it. Hello! Yay! Apparently the, even though I failed, um, I still had got enough SP to level up my Dragoon level for the final time. Alright! That's wonderful news. I like where this is going. Okay, so, uh, Dart is finally at level 5 of his Dragoon level, which means he is now officially maxed out in Dragoon. He cannot get any, he can't level up anymore, no more magic, no more MP, nothing. That's the maximum Dragoon capabilities, is 170% plus attack power. Uh, 250 defense, and same thing for attack and defense, respectively, in magical regards. But already, we have, a uh, Red-Eyed Dragon. Uh, Dart's best magic of the game. Get out of my way! Crazy lady. Don't you know that I am now a level 5 Dragoon? I will wipe your very existence! Not really. I'm just kidding. Okay, so... I'm gonna meet you guys back at... Frelts. Or however the hell you pronounce that. Um, but I had to go and make a detour to the home of Gigantos so I can get that Stardust that I forgot. I'll probably cut back in when I get to it so I can show you guys exactly where that is if you didn't catch it in the video where I, when I was at the home of Gigantos where I put a little uh, annotation on the video. So you could uh, find it and not have to do this freaking detour. So yeah, I will see you guys at the home of Gigantos and then I will cut away again and 
See you at, uh, Fretz. Hey everybody, we're back to Twin Castle in Frets. So there you go. I guess I didn't put the annotation in the exact right spot, but it was underneath it, right next to a torch. In there, so... Hopefully, if you didn't find it where I said it was, you still went around and looked if you're playing along. If not, then, well, I just showed you exactly where it is. Go do what I did. <laughs> yeah. And now everybody's happy and leaving their houses be like, Oh, it's the princess. Her dainty movement of the hands. You know what? I'm not even going to go there. So wait, through the entirety of what we were doing um she has never left the castle to let her subjects know hey there's a fake take my place and now she's gone and I'm back but no she had to wait until we came back in order to have this happen Now she's back. Alrighty, so that was that. Alberts! Oh ho! Ha ha ha! Uh, yeah, I think he's love struck. That. I think that's what's the matter, Dart. Oh. Oh! Hi! Welcome back to reality, Alberts. We're standing right here. He didn't even notice that she left. Oh my god. Oh, Alberts. <laughs> 